Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Well, why don't I give you an update on the U.S. Uh, consumer spending and inflation? I got some uh, very, very interesting and very, uh, um, very pointed article regarding these issues. And uh, this comes from the Market Watch from uh, today, which is uh, the 29th of April, 2022. This article was written by Jeffrey Bartash. Very good article, I would say. Very informative. Uh, with numbers. We love numbers. And this is the title. U.S. consumer spending rises sharply, but inflation climbs almost as fast. Okay, well, see. And it says here, the numbers. Whew. Consumer spending rose a sharp 1.1% in March, but the increase barely outpaced another surge in inflation as Americans come confront the biggest price increase in 40 years. Don't blame the Russians only, but we're going to get to that analysis later. Um, well, remember, if you do the consumer spending 1.1, what does that tell you? Is that a little, is, is what, is a, a little panic here? Might be. Economists uh, polled by the Wall Street Journal had forecast a 0.7% rise. Uh, although households spend more, spend more, they are also paying higher prices for gas, groceries, and other supplies. Key measure of inflation included in the uh, report rose by 0.9% last month. Government show, uh, figures showed. A big jump in gasoline price was a chief reason why. Ooh, the Saudis are not our friends anymore? Or what? Uh, well, maybe think before you act, uh, thinking about uh, um, Russia and other things. Uh, it says here that uh, another, uh, even other, other factoring in inflation, consumer spending rose a smaller but still solid 0.2% last month. But now we got what? The saving rate, rate, the savings rate, fell to 6.2 percent from 6.8, and it's now below pre-pandemic levels. Yeah. So, what we have the pre-pandemic, which was a high in, in economy, in economy, savings now we even, wow. Uh, Americans may be drawing on their savings. You bet, because incomes are no longer keeping up with inflation. They increased by 0.5% in March. Wages have also risen sharply over the past year, but not as fast as the cost of living. So what does that mean? Your, pie, your power of buying is less and less and less. So the price is got, your uh, income got, but the price is got much more increase. Uh, and another thing, the US economy, has downshifted into a lower gear. And I have here another article talking about actually the exact price of the US economy shrinking uh, at start of 2022 is shocking and how Harvard, Harvard, anyway, Harvard, we use them now. We like the articles, we use the Harvard Economist. This is an article from uh, the 28th of April by Talia Kaplan. Kaplan. Uh, so this is another uh, article that you might want to um, um, you you might want to uh, look at, and this and uh, it says shrinking sharply. So um, it says that the the gross domestic product GDP uh, the broad uh, you know uh, fell one point four percent annualized rate in the three month period from January through March. So that's one thing, and then we go back here to. Uh, what uh, you know, the the economy is uh, uh, shifted in a lower gear after a rap rapid burst of growth last year. All uh, right, uh, it the U.S. is likely to keep expanding at a steady clip, economists say, but rising interest rates and more turbulence overseas in Ukraine and China loom as going ongoing threats. If inflation gets worse. It could spell even more trouble. Yep, and it will go. The so-called PCE price index index 
leaped 6.6% in the 12 month ended in March. And a better known measure of the cost of living, the consumer price index has risen at an even faster 8.5% price. I think it's even more because you lump things over there. Uh, if you just get the uh, things that are needed for your everyday life, I know it's more than 8.5. So these guys are just doing something, including other stuff that not everybody, another majority uh, uh, uses to survive. But nevertheless, like they, I don't know, the, the cost of a Bentley, or a, I don't know, as I said, who knows, I'm just saying Mercedes or something. So, um, key details. Americans spend more, spent more in March on travel, hotels, restaurants, and other services. Uh, we have a service-based economy, remember? Not an post-industrial economy. We got service. We make massage to one another, you know, look for one another for fleas and things, and then we provide services, you know? And those uh, ladies of the night are providing us with services too. So yeah, yeah, we need that, it's needed. My God. So, uh, that's viewed as a good sign for the economy because consumers tend to cut back when they aren't as confident. Wow, spending more in March on travel, that's a good sign. Okay, well, because they're not going to travel. So then you destroy that, that uh, uh, industry, right? Very smart. It's okay, we're going to travel to China. Not because we're going to spend a lot of money on airplanes and, right, that costs a lot and maybe we'll not be allowed to travel in the near future. Who knows, they can do whatever they want here. Gas prices leveled off in April, however, to offer Americans some relief. They didn't level off. I'm telling you why they leveled off. Because these guys, the handlers of our lives, were uh, doing a very, very poor job in taking care of our lives economically. And they had to, and they did. They looked, they got and started uh, sucking the uh, US's strategic oil reserves. They started sucking at them dry to put on the market so we don't get too upset all of a sudden because the change was too sharp. So that's what they did. So they put on the market, the uh, uh, gas dropped a little bit, stayed over there. Oh, it's uh, leveled, leveled a little bit. We even gave the Europeans, remember from Texas, I posted a video uh, from Texas to uh, what, to Rotterdam, right? Wasn't that in the Netherlands? That's shipments of our strategic reserves hour that were filled by some predecessors, some better pe people than these ones. So they leveled off. How? Looking ahead. Yeah, look, look ahead and see what's going on. Consumer spending has been supported by strong job and wage growth. <sighs> Don't count the American, American consumer out yet. Uh, market reaction. <coughs> so they didn't give whatever. If they think that, that the jobs will be created somehow uh, in, uh, in the scarcity. Yeah, they might be. But then remember, governmental jobs are not government, they're not job created. Those are not considered, should not be considered creation of jobs. You know what I mean? That's not. Only the, the private um, jobs should be, and are, I should be, I guess, considered as job growth, not the governmental. But the government can create 1,000 million in, uh, billion uh, jobs and uh, departments they can create just like this for services unnecessary and not needed by the society. They say, look, we created so many jobs. The economy is booming. No, it's not booming. Because it, those, those departments, which are governmental, usually they provide services. What are they going to do? Unless you na uh, uh, nationalize industries. Is that what you're going to do? And even if you nationalize it, you just transfer it from private to uh, public. Well, market reaction. Yeah, market reaction. Dow Jones Industrial Average, blah, 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 was set to open high, uh, low on Friday trades. Trade. Yeah. We're set to, uh, so S&P, the Dow Jones Industrial Average and S&P 500 were set to drop to open lower in Friday traders, trades. Well, rosy, rosy, rosy. Uh, rosy picture of our lives. But nevertheless, we can point to only one evil that created all this, and that should be the accepted view of all of us. We should think the same is Russia. You guessed it, right? And Putin and those sturges or whatever, however they call those guys. Hard times 
just begin. Just begin. This is just beginning when you start feeling getting cold or you don't see the, the uh, front, the cold front moving in. You just, oh, I think I'm cold, but you don't see the, the, the real cold, uh, uh, you know, air moving in and uh, things changing. I don't want to be, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, to tell you what I said this for, for a long time. Things are going to get worse with these guys over there. Now with Ukraine again, but we feel morally accomplished, right? I don't, but maybe you do, which I think that if you're a viewer of my show, I don't think you feel very satisfied with what's going on here. And maybe you have some other uh, ideas and, uh, you know, um, you can think of other um, ways to handle things. Uh, but these guys are just, uh, have a democratic grip on us. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. See ya.